Well, hello. Here. Don't look too good. Let me... Well, uh, welcome back. Uh, it's been a, while, a little while. Sorry for keeping you in my sock drawer. I'll try not to do that next time. Um, the biggest developments that have happened uh, in the intervening time is that I decided to put my um, <clears throat> notice in for leaving my, my nine to five job um, about a month early. I was anticipating working through the end of this year through the calendar year so I'd be working through December um, but I decided to change my plans a little bit and I put my notice in just a few days ago so I'll be quitting at the end of November oh boy it's only four weeks in the long run it's not gonna make that much of a difference but it does feel, I mean, it's, it's like real now. So it's a little, a little scary. Um, the biggest factor in deciding to leave early was that <clears throat> the stress was just way too much. It was just too much. It was too much to try to keep up with, you know, having the day job and then trying to focus on the work that I actually want to do and making sure that I'm you know, producing the kind of work that I can be proud of. And I just couldn't do that with the amount of stress that I was under because of the, the day job. So that is, that is out the door. I had anticipated getting a few more things kind of sewn up before I got to the point of being able to, to leave the job. Um, you know, putting money aside for an emergency fund. Uh, I was trying to find a, a new place to live um, that would allow me to work a little bit, you know, more easily that didn't pan out so it's a little nerve-wracking to be jumping ship without my fully stocked life raft but I, th I feel for the most part I feel positive um, I mean obviously there's some uh, anxiety over the decision but all in all I think it's a good decision and I feel I feel positive about it check my notes the other aspect that ultimately led to my decision to make that exit um, sooner than anticipated was uh, the, the mental health aspect. Um, my depression has been just really terrible the last, I mean really like the last two years, but the last six months or so, uh, a year to six months has just been, I mean, awful. It's been it's been a nightmare in about every every way that it could that it could be from like uh, a lot of personal you know changes and relationships leaving uh, things like that that have just added to the, the already mounting kind of depression of coming to grips with being in my mid 30s and um, not not being where I wanted to be at this stage in my life. So the depression aspect of leaving the day job is, is something that I'm hoping will be wildly beneficial um, going forward. When I sit back and kind of do some self-reflection, uh, invariably I come back to that the sort of job that I've had f for all my life really um, is, is a huge source of my dissatisfaction and depression. Uh, so I'm hoping that by removing that and giving myself the space to really focus on the things that I'm passionate about, that will help kind of bring me out of that depression um, in a way that I haven't been able to do before because I've battled with depression forever and I've had, you know, periods in my life where it wasn't bad at all and I've had periods in my life where it was it was, you know, life-threatening. Um, but I've never been able to fully extricate myself and get on top of that in a, in a sustainable way or a way that felt sustainable. And so I'm hoping that by taking that leap of faith and getting rid of that job for good, that sort of job for good, then this will kind of enable me to finally clamber on top of this depression and kind of keep it at bay once and for all. 
And I realize that's not going to be without its, you know, its own anxiety and, and struggles and, and bouts of depression. Um, I mean, depression is just something that's just going to be, it's just going to be part of my life no matter what. Um, one thing that I'm kind of anticipating struggling with a lot is the fact that I've, I've watched <laughs> for the past, I don't know, two years now, year, two years, I have watched so many people do this exact thing that I'm trying to do. Get rid of their day job, take a leap of faith, go work on their side hustle or their passion project. Um, and so I do worry a lot about whether or not I have the chops to actually make a go of it. And this sea of creative entrepreneurs that the last couple of years has seen emerge. And I do worry if I am, you know, up to the challenge, if I'm up to the task. Uh, ultimately, I think I am. I wouldn't really be doing this if I, if I didn't think that I could do it. But it is a worry. It is something that I, that I worry about. Uh, so uh, that's, that's where we're at. I've been hammering away on these, these weddings. I've got a little bit of a slow season coming up with the winter which I think will be nice. I mean, not working and not having, <laughs> not having creative work coming in is gonna be different, but I'm actually looking forward to the space um, to be able to work on writing music again. It's something I haven't, haven't really done uh, in the last, you know, since I released the Shoestring EP. So I'm looking forward to having that space and the time to really focus on on working on my stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Um, I have some new stuff that I'm gonna be releasing here. Uh, I promise it won't be like six months away. Uh, in the next probably week or so, I've got some, some covers that I'm gonna be releasing on the channel. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, as always, thank you so much for being here and for watching and for supporting me. And you're awesome. And we'll see you next time.